This setup is gonna be hella sketched, and when I say hella sketched, I mean hella sketched. If you guys could see the ratchet ass setup, y'all would unsubscribe. Speaking of subscribing, bro, we have reached a thousand, over a thousand already. That is so mind blowing. Like, at first, I was thinking, like, I don't know, how many really is a thousand? But, like, my friend was like, bro, imagine a thousand people in a room. And I'm like, damn. Like, I can't even imagine a hundred people in a room, let alone a thousand. So, if you are subscribed, thank you so much. I love you all so much. And I am so appreciative of every single one of you. Ooh, my love going out to you. Also, I'm wearing a One Direction shirt. I haven't worn this shirt or been able to fit in this shirt since, like, eighth grade. But today, I was like, let me pop out with the merch. Today's video is going to be me testing out that's not right today's video is gonna be me trying products that I legit forgot about if you don't know me you don't know that I collect makeup but I like to use my makeup but sometimes I be getting caught up in products that I find that are really good and I'll only use those specific products for a while so today I'm gonna go back in time and try out some products that I own but legit forgot about. If you haven't subscribed, like, you should subscribe like if you want to, like it's a win-win, I mean like <laughs> yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Hi, up close and personal. Oh, FYI, I have this like rash looking thing on my eyelids. Kinda looks like genital herpes, but like on my eyelids. So don't mind that. For primer today, I <laughs> I like to use two primers. Why is it kind of dark in here? Okay, that's a little better. I like to use two primers. I usually like to use a primer for like the whole face for glowing up the face, which I'm going to use Milani Prime Light. I bought this forever ago. I never, ever use it. I don't know why. And then I like to use one for pore filling slash smoothening slash smoothening slash smoothening. My dumbass really just said smoothening smoothening bitch it's smoothing and for that one we're gonna use smashbox photo finish oh my gosh i forgot about this primer this is like an og primer that everyone and they mama used to use i think i didn't really use this primer a lot because it has like really fine glitters in it which i found really weird like i don't want a whole glittery face also i've owned this smashbox one for the longest it's never been like my thing like i don't like the feeling of silicone primers i feel like it does nothing but clog my pores and give me pimples like period this used to break me out and then i just like for some reason was so pissed off that i bought it and it was like breaking me out so like i kept using it like i literally kept using it and then my skin just like adapted to it and got used to it so now it doesn't break my skin out anymore but i really don't mess around with that silicone feeling i'm just gonna be straight up here i'm a foundation mixer but like even if i weren't i would still mix a foundation that i'm about to use today because it's kind of dark y'all remember maybelline fit me hello i forgot about this this is maybelline matte and poreless which never used to be my thing i liked the dewy and smooth one but like i didn't have the skin for the dewy and smooth one let's be real let's keep it a hundred and i'm also gonna mix that though with the milani conceal and perfect this one was always a little too cakey for me so i stopped using it but i also haven't worn this foundation in like a year and a half maybe so i don't really know how i'm gonna feel about it now because lately your girl's been dabbling with that full coverage and i kind of it. like i'm kind of enjoying it i think it's because i'm slowly beginning to realize that my skin really ain't shit and that the more coverage the better honey i'm looking a little washed out i don't know if it's because recently i've been using darker foundations or what maybe this is just not my shade anymore <laughs> but sis coverage is real i'm not really feeling it though it's kind of looking cakey for concealer today, we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as well. This used to be like one of my freaking go-tos. The consistency was my favorite part about this. It just it just looks so good. It's really inexpensive. I'm actually going to allow the concealer under my eyes to dry a little bit just because it gives more coverage when it does. A little pro tip I learned from Jackie Ina. I'm giving you peanut butter baby. I'm giving you cardboard box. I'm giving you doll face. This is it. This is me. For powder today, I haven't used this powder and I can't even tell you how long. Cody Airspun Loose Powder. I use this on my clients a lot. I never use it on me. I don't know why. I just, I bought powders that I like a little more than this one. I'm gonna be honest and you know, it just kind of, it just kind of fell off for me. It feels just weird putting this on my face. Because that smell, girl, it's taking me back. It's taking me back to like freshman year. I just like to set 
um, the insides of my face where I produce the most oil. Similarly to Jackie, when it comes to makeup, I'm a multitasker. So while this is baking in the oven, I'm actually going to work around it and start bronzing. The bronzer that we're going to use today is the NYX Matte Bronzer. This, if you watched my haul, you would know that I recently just purchased this again. But before that, I completely forgot about it. I love this bronzer. I used to love it so much. It warms up the face so prettily. And it's just like a great color. Tell me why yesterday I went swimming and it was like 113 degrees. What is the reason, Arizona? Arizona really decided to pop off just a few weeks ago. Everyone was worried about this global warming. Arizona said, I'm into bitch. I don't really have a setting spray that I forgot about. So I'm just gonna use Mario by this. Y'all know that I like to drown the skin bounce it out let the rest air dry for highlight today y'all know i gotta go with max off and gentle i don't even like this highlighter that much anymore not because it's not good it's actually really blinding it's just that it's <sighs> first of all this one's probably expired second of all the color is a little icy for my skin complexion but for the sake of this video i'm gonna use it that was my first ever like high-end highlighter that i bought for myself starting on these hoes with this icy ass highlight i sure did it i did it yep i don't really mind my highlight being a little icy either like people make it that big of a deal but as long as it doesn't look ashy uh, looks a little ashy it'll be fine we'll look good by the end of this the angle has changed just a wee bit just a wee bit because um like i said this setup is completely ratchet and completely not okay for eyes today for eyes today, I don't really think I'm gonna go all out because I don't feel like putting on eyelashes. I'm literally just gonna take this makeup off after this video. But the palette I'm gonna use today is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I have not used this palette, I can't even remember in how long. It just stays in my drawer, like I never use it. The reason why I don't use it is because every time I used to use it, I used to do the exact same look. As you can see, it would be this color, then this color, then this color, then this color. That is it. That was the look that I would create every time I would use this palette. Like the rest of the shades are just like, meh like meh meh for starters i'm gonna take the shades charmer and flower child which are these two shades mix them and use them to set my lids because my lids are looking a little oily also my brow bone these shadows smell like chocolate for no reason i didn't know this was too faced next shade i'm gonna go in with is the shade smarty pants which is just like what i like to call a barely there shadow it's just gonna give like the smallest flush of color also i'm using a morphe m441 for this it's just like a blending brush i use when i'm just like eh, on the go trying to blend something in the crease and then that's it you know it's one of those brushes for the outer v i think i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the shade jet setter which is once again one of those like barely their nude shades except it's like kind of cool toned also the thing with this palette is like 70% of the shadows in here are really cool toned, which is just not my thing. Like when do you guys ever see me do cool tones unless it's like a blue? Like I'm most definitely not effing with it, so. The next shadow we are gonna use today is gonna be the shade Funny Girl, which is this like shimmery right here. The shade was really weird for me because sometimes it would look really pretty, really pop and really blinding and others would just look like a chalky mess. This shadow was just so like unpredictable. Like, even when I'm picking it up on the brush, it looks kind of chunky. It might be that this is expired, though. Like, honestly, at this point, we've passed that. Yeah, that is giving me little to nothing. The shadow has applied. It kind of looks chunky. But, like, I don't know. Maybe that was what they were going for. Like, a chunky glitter shadow look. What I'm going to do, though, for the lower lash line is just take... I'm going to take... Smarty Pants and Jet Setter and blend them both on my lower lash line really quick. Just a quick smudge of color. I'm gonna go in with the mascara that I was messing with since middle school. I don't know what it is about this mascara. It's just so could. So could. C-O-O-D could. Benefit, they're real. I have the mini version because <laughs> we're not gonna talk about the full size price, but this mascara is just so good. This is like the only mascara so far that I've tried that actually does something for my eyelashes. Um, but I forgot about it because I've just been so obsessed with lashes that I haven't really been wearing too much mascara. For lips today, I'm gonna go in with an OG combo for me, which was the NYX lip pencil in the shade Mauve 
mauve, whatever. And then the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Look how much I used to use this. I was obsessed with this color. Like, this color was, like, my color. I was convinced that I looked like a bad bitch with this lip liner. So I used it, like, on the daily. Like, there was no lip combo I was using that didn't include this liner. It's so small now. It's like, I can barely do this. I'm not trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> Even before I found the mauve lip liner to match with this, I used to just wear this eclair gloss. Looking ashy as shit. Didn't care. Has that thing been there in the way the entire time? Oh my gosh. Anyways guys, that was basically today's completed look. I basically found out that from this challenge, I still like majority of the makeup um excluding this airspun powder though um i didn't really like the milani strobe light whatever the hell whatever the fuck primer that wasn't that great um this uh it works it's not my favorite thing in the world it could look good just like it is not my cup of tea but everything else was like pretty stellar pretty good i would 10 out of 10 use again anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please subscribe please like please comment something nice and make my day thank you all once again for watching and i will see you all in my next one, period.